Welcome to <laughs> Learning Together 2. I am so glad that you're here. In this video, we are going to review the order of calculation in basic math. Look, our Mojituti friend Peter has come to help us. Hi, Peter. <laughs> Peter, what is 3 plus 5 minus 2 equal to? That's okay, Peter. Let's work it out together. Peter, when a mathematical expression includes more than one type of operation, there exists a set of rules to follow that will help us solve for the equation. Peter, in this case, we are going to be Adding and subtracting. Well done, Peter. But Peter, which should we do first? Does it matter if we add, then subtract? Or should we subtract and then add? Let's find out. Peter, let's add first. Let's move the statement to the side to have more room. 3 plus 5 is equal to... 8. Very good, Peter. And 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Great job, Peter. Peter, this time let's subtract first. Let's move the statement to the side. We write the 3 as it is. Peter, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Nicely done, Peter. And 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Very good, Peter. Look at that, Peter. Both methods give us the same answer. So, Peter, does it matter if we add or subtract first? No, it doesn't. That's right, Peter. Peter, what should we do? Peter, it's important to know that one of the rules tells us to always work from left to right. In this case, the first thing that we should have done was add. Excellent, Peter. Let's try it again. If you have the exercise book for this video, bring it out to work with it. Feel free to pause the video at any time as you follow along in the book. Peter, what is 5 times 9 divided by 3 equal to? Peter, this time we are going to be <coughs> multiplying and <coughs> dividing. Great job, Peter. But Peter, does it matter if we multiply first, or should we divide first? Let's find out. Peter, let's multiply first. Let's move the statement to the side to have more room. 5 times 9 is equal to 45. Well done, Peter. And 45 divided by 3 is equal to... 15. Nicely done, Peter. Peter, this time let's divide first. Let's move the statement to the side. We write the 5 as it is. Peter, 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Well done, Peter. And 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Nice job, Peter. Look at that, Peter. Both methods give the same answer. Peter, does it matter if we multiply or divide first? <coughs> no, it doesn't. That's right, Peter. Remember, Peter, one of the rules tells us to always work from <coughs> left to 
right. Well done, Peter. Peter, in this case, the first thing that we should have done was... <coughs> multiply. Excellent, Peter. Let's try it again. Peter, what is 8 plus 2 times 5 equal to? Peter, this time we are going to be adding and multiplying. Very good, Peter. Peter, does it matter if we add first or should we multiply first? Let's find out. Peter, let's add first. Let's move the statement to the side to have more room. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Well done, Peter. And 10 times 5 is equal to 50. Great job, Peter. Peter, this time, let's multiply first. Let's move the statement to the side. We write the 8 as it is. Peter, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Well done, Peter. And 8 plus 10 is equal to 18. Great job, Peter. Look at that, Peter. We have different answers. Peter, does it matter if we add or multiply first? <coughs> yes, it does. That's right, Peter. Peter, it's important to know that another rule says that we should always multiply before adding or subtracting. Peter, the correct answer is... <coughs> 18. Excellent, Peter. Let's try it again. Peter, what is 10 minus 8 divided by 2 equal to? Peter, this time we are going to be <coughs> subtracting and <coughs> dividing. Very good, Peter. Peter, does it matter if we subtract first or should we divide first? Let's find out. Peter, let's subtract first. Let's move the statement to the side to have more room. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Well done, Peter. And 2 divided by 2 is equal to one. Great job, Peter. Peter, this time let's divide first. Let's move the statement to the side. We write the 10 as it is. Peter, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Well done, Peter. And 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. Great job, Peter. Look at that. We have different answers. Peter, does it matter if we subtract or divide first? <coughs> yes, it does. That's right, Peter. Peter, it's important to know that the rule that says that we should always multiply before we add or subtract goes on to say that we should also always divide before adding or subtracting. Peter, the correct answer is... 6. Excellent, Peter. Let's try it again. Peter, what is 7 plus 8 divided by 3 equal to? Peter, this time we are going to be 
adding and <coughs> dividing. Very good, Peter. Peter, does it matter which we do first? Add or divide? <coughs> yes, it does. Well done, Peter. Wait, Peter. This statement has something we haven't seen before. <coughs> Parentheses. That's right, Peter. Peter, it's important to know that there's another rule that says that we should do what's inside the parentheses first. In this case, the first thing that we should do is <coughs> add. Very good, Peter. Peter, let's move the statement to the side and solve for the equation by starting with what's inside the parentheses. Peter, 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. Nicely done, Peter. And 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Excellent, Peter. That's our final answer. Let's try it again. Peter, what is 6 times 2 squared equal to? Peter, this time we are going to be <coughs> multiplying. That's right, Peter. Oh, wait, Peter. Is there anything else we need to do? Hold on, Peter. This statement also has something we haven't seen before. <coughs> 2 squared. Very good, Peter. The 2 is elevated to the power of 2. Peter, what should we do first? Multiply or raise the 2 to the power of 2? Guess what, Peter? There's another rule that says that we should do powers and roots first. In this case, we don't have any <coughs> roots. Very good, Peter. Peter, let's move the statement to the side and solve for the equation by starting with the 2 squared. Let's write the 6 as it is. Peter, 2 squared is equal to <coughs> 4. Nicely done, Peter. And 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Excellent, Peter. That's our final answer. Let's try it again. Peter, when we know the rules, we can solve for more complex statements. Peter, let's solve for the equation of the following statement. Peter, even though it looks complex, we know that we need to start with the parentheses. Very good, Peter. Peter, inside the parentheses, we have another parentheses. That's right, Peter. That's where we start. Peter, let's write everything the same until we reach the inner parentheses. Peter, 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. Nicely done, Peter. Now let's complete the statement. Peter, we continue working with the parentheses. That's right, Peter. Peter, we can either subtract, square the 2, or multiply. Which should we do first? <coughs> Square the two. Very good, Peter. Let's write everything as it is until we reach two squared. Peter, 
2 squared is equal to 4. Nicely done, Peter. Let's complete the statement. Peter, now we can either subtract or multiply. Which should we do first? <coughs> multiply. Very good, Peter. Let's write everything as it is until we reach the multiplication. Peter, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Very good, Peter. Let's complete the statement. Peter, now we can subtract. First, let's write everything as it is before subtracting. 36 minus 24 is equal to 12. Well done, Peter. Let's complete the statement. Peter, now we have three options. Do we solve the square root first? Or do we add first? Or do we divide first? <coughs> solve the square root. Very good, Peter. The square root of 25 is equal to... Five. Great job, Peter. Let's complete the statement. Peter, now do we add or divide first? <coughs> divide. Let's write the 5 as it is. 12 divided by 3 is equal to... <coughs> 4. Great job, Peter. Peter, 5 plus 4 is equal to? Well done, Peter. So our final answer is 9. Excellent, Peter. I think you've got it. If you have the exercise book, there's a guide towards the end of the section that lists the set of rules to follow when working with mathematical expressions that include more than one type of operation. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for upcoming videos. For more great videos, visit learningtogether2.com. If you already have the exercise book, continue with solving the problems and thank you so very much for your support. But if you don't have it, get the exercise book that goes along with this video. Find the link below in the description or by visiting learningtogether2.com. You might also like to get Peter or your favorite Mojituti character. To learn more, visit mojituti.com. Please subscribe so you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And don't forget to click on the like button. See you soon. Oh, by the way, are you a puzzle person? Find your puzzle at the Vista Puzzles. Scan the QR code or find the link below in the description or by visiting learningtogether2.com